Well, what does life look like for someone after graduating from one of Portland Rescue Mission's life restoring programs? What does life look like for a mom and her two kids who were part of Shepherd's Door years ago? Here to share their inspiring story, we welcome Brandy Turner along with her daughters, Sasheen and Cabrea. Good to have you all with us. Thank Brandy, you. let me start with Hello. me. By the way, you all look beautiful. Thank Thank you. Gorgeous. Thank you. Brandy, tell me how you ended up at Shepherd's Door. What led you there? Well, I had um, moved here from San Jose, California. Mm -hmm. That's where I was um, born and raised at. And I came here not knowing anyone mm -hmm. and um, struggled in relationship when I moved here and um, didn't know. I was 23. So oh I didn't goodness. know. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know how to navigate where I was at or navigate life. Um, I was a teenage mom. Yeah. And so. It was really difficult, but I had a caseworker that I had met here who told me about the Shepherd's Door program. And how old were the kids at the time? Sashin, do you remember how old you guys were? About, it doesn't have to be exact. Okay, good. <laughs> I was about nine. That's right. And, and I think I was three. Wow. Right mm -hmm. when we moved in. That must right. have been quite the adjustment to go get into a program like that, right? Yes, it was. It was very scary and very, very different. How do, do you remember the program? Do you remember being at Shepherd's Door, girls? Yeah, I do. And I remember kind of bouncing around schools up until nine years old, and then that's when I had the stability with education and being homeschooled and the teachers and things like that. So a lot of those memories are very prevalent for me of how like I really started to like take school more seriously mm -hmm. and have like friends and things like that. Yeah. What about you, um, yeah, I remember the program. That was some of my first memories. Um, I don't really remember anything before that, kind of why we ended up there. I just right. remember being there, um, being a happy kid, having all the other kids with me. It felt like just a big so family. So all good memories. Yeah, all good all memories. All good memories. Yeah. What did you get out of Shepherd's Door? What, like, did you finally feel safe? I did, yes. Um, safe, secure, stable, um, myself. Um, the staff there and the volunteers were so patient with me because yeah. I, I, I was learning a new way of living, a new language, and um, the word choosing to want to change my life. The oh. word choosing is a word that is um, prevalent in the program. It's so a choosing choice. choosing to make right decisions, I'm guessing, Choose, right? Yes. Right? Choo everything is a choice. So you graduated so. and you went on to live on your own and do really well. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Tell yeah. me now what you're doing because I understand you're a phlebotomist now as well as a hairdresser. Right. Yes. So I do that. Um, I graduated. I went to school and Shepherd's Door was able to um, make sure that I was enrolled in school and they were able to watch my third child that I had there um, mm -hmm. who is now 19. Um, and I was able to successfully graduate from school and become a phlebotomist. So, That's so great. Yeah, and then do hair. And Sashin, I know you work at an ad agency, is that right? I do. Yes, okay. and you're an arty, artist. I am an artist. Um, thank you for sharing your art with me as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yes, I'm an artist, and I founded that business, so technically an entrepreneur. Like, well, yeah. I'll start yeah. with that, yeah. <laughs> I know you teach classes as well, too, right? Yes, paint and sips, paint and juices for kids yeah. are my favorite, though. Yeah, yeah. oh, fun. Yeah. And Cabrillo, <laughs> how are you doing? I'm doing good, just starting out life. I graduated high school in 2018, so um, I'm in college now to get my nursing degree. Um, I just got married, so. Congratulations! I hit the ground running. Yeah, that's <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Randy, would, what would you say to other young mothers out there who maybe face the same issue that you were facing, where you had nowhere to go? Right. To be open, trust the process, um, think about your kids and not yourself. If you have children, if you right. don't have children, um, it's intimidating, but think about your future try to think about where you want to be and what you don't want to continue to go through right. and that was for me is my children that's right. what I continue to keep in the forefront is I have to make sacrifice for my kids and I don't want to live like yeah. this and I don't want to take my kids through what everything that they were going through and I was going through right. so you yeah. must talk I know you go back and volunteer your hairdresser services right mm -hmm. um, hair styling services at Shepherd's Door. Right. Do you talk to other mo mothers about where you were and how 
Shepherd's Door helped you as well. Right. You get where they're coming from, right? right? Oh, yeah, totally. I've been in their shoes, yeah. so I know exactly how they're feeling. I know what they're talking about. Yeah. Um, I've met a lot of the women there, um, and it just takes me back to that time, so when I was there. Yeah. But um, the women there are great, and I just, it's so, it's just to see the women where I was at, it just gives me flashbacks. Right. But I just want to tell them, like, your future is going to be so great. Just, just trust the process and stick it through. You're going to come out winning. And you can yeah. be successful like me and my daughter. Totally. I totally. Love it. Yes. I absolutely love it. Yeah. Thank yeah. you all. I'm glad you're of doing course. well. Yeah. Yes, and thank you for giving back as well. Yes, of yeah. course. Yeah. yeah. All right, coming up.